We are outside right now. And as you can see behind me, there is no freaking snow on the ground, boys. Even though it's probably gonna snow again tomorrow. But it's been like 15 degrees the last two days. So all the snow has been melting like crazy. And we're still waiting on exhaust parts for the Honda. They should be here next week. So for this week's video, we're gonna have a home slash shop build type of video. We got all the doors open on the shop right now, letting the warm air in there. And the shop is a freaking mess right now. Except for that Evo. Damn, that thing's clean. You guys can still see one little patch of snow down there by Colton's Rav. But up on the driveway, we don't got nothing but a dirty old truck. So we gotta get this thing washed. Also, daylight savings time just changed. So now it's actually bright out till like nine o'clock at night, which is sick. I'm kind of scared to see how this pressure washer works. Pretty light though. You can just kind of wheel it wherever you want. But I'm gonna spray some water out first. Purge all the air out of it. Man, this truck is dirty. All right, the air is out. How does this work? Push the button and go. Oh, come on. All this truck needs is wider wheels and better fuel economy and i would love it but it's a pig on fuel and honestly these sierras the front fitment is so nice on these things but look at the back like this thing's completely tucked i don't know why they're like that i also bought the cheapest soap that i could possibly find from canadian tire and it actually worked pretty good it wasn't very foamy but it definitely looks like it got all the dirt off the truck but now since the truck is washed it's time to give you guys a little bit of a shop update and let you know what the plan is for today. You guys can probably see from behind me, we got a lot of random stuff on the ground and just crap everywhere, really. But we got two stick flags. We got his good old Mitsubishi flag and we also got the STI flag hung up. So I'm thinking for this summer, if I'm gonna be honest, I might not have the money or the time to paint this shop. I do wanna put up better lighting. So I'm thinking my plan for now is to make this wall in front of the hoist kind of like a flag wall, I'm thinking. I just said I'm thinking twice. But like picture this, flags all the way down. Get some funny ones. Get some cold start for the boys flags, maybe. I think that would be kind of funny. Might have to make one of those. Maybe we could sell some cold start for the boys flags on the Something Cool website. Because that would be something cool, right? I think so. Then, eventually, I want to paint this lift and clean it up or replace it. I don't know yet. But it's pretty crusty. So for this side of the shop right now, if I'm going to be honest, not too many plans. I might build some hooks and hang the shovels and squeegees and everything on that wall. I'm not sure yet. The only thing that I know I want to do in this video is take down this little shelf right here. Even though you're not really going to use that space for anything else, it would be a good spot to put all your brake clean cans and all that stuff. But in my opinion, it just kind of gets in the way when I want to reach my arm around here. If I'm on this side to use the hoist lever to lower it and stuff like that. I would rather just have that box gone. So I'm gonna get rid of that in today's video. I'm gonna leave this shelf on this side and I'm also gonna leave the shelf over there just cause I have so much stuff on them right now. This patio furniture is all gonna go outside eventually, but not today because it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Then the next flag we got is a good old Jack Spania racing flag because those guys are my homies and they make dope parts for Hondas. So we're gonna hang all the like name brand flags of companies and stuff like that, I think are gonna go on this wall up here behind the heater and kind of work their way down. This whole toolbox here, which is my old toolbox from work is gonna be completely gone. And it is gonna go over onto that wall over there. And you guys can see just by looking at this, that this wall is packed with crap. Me and Colton are both hockey players. So we got his player gear on this shelf. My goalie gear is over on that shelf. And then all my player gear is on this workbench right now. But we only got like five games left in playoffs for the winter. So we're gonna be packing this stuff up soon. So I'm gonna get rid of this entire workbench. 
I wanna get rid of that shelf, get rid of this cabinet, which is covering our fuels panel for the shop, I think. Yep, she's right there. So that's gonna be exposed until we can build something a little bit nicer around there. And then I want my toolbox to either go over by the door and then we'll have storage over here or my toolbox go here, I haven't decided yet. Either way, my goal for the shop is to have absolutely nothing on this wall but flags. I want this all wide open space. This mezzanine lift can go up so that we have this space open for walking too because filming YouTube videos, it's really, really nice nice to have the cars as far back as possible. Luckily, I got a wide angle lens, but if you want to set up the tripod, you want to be able to see the whole car. And if I zoom this all the way in for this lens, this is like a normal view. There's not much space here at all. Like give my foot for reference. We got about a foot and a half between the car and the mezzanine lift. So I want to have as much space as possible. So that toolbox is going somewhere on this wall over here. That shelf is also gonna go. So let's hop straight to it, boys. First thing we're taking down is this shelf over here, which should be easy peasy, right? You know what I'm saying? I built a 500 horsepower Subaru, so I should be able to take a cabinet off the wall, I think. Just take out all the bolts that are holding her on. Also kind of scared this thing just, ooh, I think we only got one left. This whole thing was held on by three screws. Hey, there we go. One shelf down. I am saving all the wood and all these screws because we can use them to mount more stuff eventually. Next up, we are gonna push out the Evo because you boys don't get a cold start yet until we start working on this thing. Oh my God. This is the thing about this shop. If we're gonna be pulling engines and stuff, we're gonna have to like drop the car down, wheel it back, especially Subarus. We got all this room for activities to have the engine crane and we can lift those engines out. But like dropping an Evo transmission and subframe, that's gonna be on the hoist for sure. So now Colton's got a mic strapped and we're having beers in the shop while we do this. I'm gonna try and open a beer with wire cutters. A. Hey. That actually worked pretty good. Mint. Thank you, sir. We gotta clean up our hockey gear first. Yeah. Other that's step one. Actually dry though mine feels dry it was like 15 degrees today let me just keep this over here for now let's focus on this area right here <laughs> these are all my exhaust parts i need to take for the honda and some an fittings oh, let's is. wheel this out of here all that stuff oh <laughs> damn let's put that all on the bottom of this cart do a kick flip try thing's gonna snap <laughs> oh, there's some spins though. <laughs> Let's time lapse through getting as much of this corner ripped apart as we can. Final attempt to rip this thing out. I want to take this whole workbench out and maybe we could use it as like an outside workbench where I don't care when it gets messed up and yeah. then just chop her off right here. So then we like got a straight workbench. Outside on the wall. Yeah, yeah, by the deck or something like that. Yeah, yeah let's just take oh, it straight over there. Shit's folding, gripping like a man. Noise. Colton did the little uh, measuring app on his phone and it says 82 inches from that post to the corner and that toolbox is 80 inches long. You like click one location, drag it all the way over. What does it say? It's a 73. Yeah, there's no way that's accurate. Where are we going with this? Uh, out. Get this POS Evo out of here. Look at all these leaks all over the ground. This car has never leaked in its life. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one thing that I'm proud to say about this fucking car is it has never leaked and it blows my mind. Like, what is this for? Is this safe? Yeah, I was gonna say touch it, see what happens. Just lick it? Mm. What is, there's two wires. I couldn't tell you what it's for. Okay, you go grab that side. Get, get behind there. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Flimsy, man. Yeah, there's no leg at the back. Oh, easy. Easy. It's not as heavy as I thought it was. No, be. neither. I, I thought it was gonna be way heavier. There's so much room for activities over there now. Holy shit. Oh, watch the Evo. Like, I just wanna take some cutters and snip this. 
The thing with house wiring versus like automotive wiring is if I snip this, I think I could die. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. We ain't got no workbench no more. It's gonna be tight with that hose there, I think. You're a hose. <laughs> what? I'm like talking about getting a ladder out and stuff. I got buttons. <laughs> I got buttons. Man, what? every time I set down a tool, it runs away. I know, I swear to God. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh my God, oh, it's so God. dusty up here. Fucking flexing. <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> Mint. Jack Spaney Racing, baby. Use code Daniel10 for 10% off. <laughs> <I hate you. laughs> Let's give her. That's so heavy. If I'm gonna be honest, this looks dumb. Like that doesn't, I just don't think that fits the space well. That fuse panel, if it wasn't there and I could put the toolbox against that other wall, it would look better. Let's just move it like that, just see what it looks like. Whoa. Yeah, I think that's way better. This shop's so tiny and I want like the most minimal amount of wasted space that you possibly can have. That looks good. It covers the fuse panel, but I'll show you guys what the gap is like behind it. There's a pretty big gap and that's, in my opinion, that's a lot of wasted space. It's like, I don't know, the length of my index finger. This is your index finger, right? Yes. Are you fucking kidding me? You're not <laughs> asked that question. <laughs> Let's time lapse cleaning up this absolute mess that we made because there is, for lack of a better word, shit everywhere. We got everything like somewhat cleaned up now. I just left our whole patio set out by the hoist here because we might have a little fire this weekend. It's probably gonna snow here tomorrow, so I don't wanna put that stuff outside and then have to get it snowed on, so we're just gonna leave it there for now. There is so much more room now on this side of the shop in front of the Evo. You can actually stand back here and there's a good, I don't know, let's count. One, two, three, four, five feet before you hit the Evo. And that's with it backed all the way up to the door, almost. There might be some walking space back there, but there ain't much, it's pretty tight. But at least that way, you got some space to set up a tripod, you can film stuff. And that'll be pretty nice once we have some better lighting. And I don't mind the toolbox in the corner, like right where it is right now, you can slide this cart in perfect with that shelf, but eventually those shelves are gonna be gone, those are gonna be gone. And then what I was thinking about doing was, me and Colton kind of decided, if you take that workbench that we had already, chop it right at the corner where it cut out to that sink that was there, that's 74, 0.5 inches or something like that, which comes to about here. So I could put a workbench right against that wall, build that cover plate for the fuse box there, move the toolbox over a little bit more, and then have a storage shelf somewhere over here next to the toolbox. Or I could put the storage shelf in that corner because the storage shelf is 77 inches wide, so it fit perfect in that slot. I don't know. There are so many decisions to make now. All of this is gonna come down eventually, but not today because now it's like 11.30 or something like that. The other thing in the shop is this vacuum that's right here is kind of pointless in my opinion. I'm not gonna drag a shop vac hose off the wall and just scratch the paint on vehicles as you're dragging the hose all over the place. I'm not a fan of that at all. So what I was thinking is figuring out a way to mount an actual pressure washer on the wall here and somehow feed a hose in like that, that I can have a hose reel on and just quickly connect it. Maybe go over the door or something like that with a water hose and then have a hose reel for the actual pressure washer handle. And then you can just open the door when you're pressure washing cars. I'm still thinking of ideas, but that's still gotta go. Those shelves still gotta go. Then we gotta figure out what we're doing with that whole wall there. So I think that is gonna be it for this video, just because it is Monday today. We got the whole week, so I'm gonna go and get a whole bunch of supplies for stuff that we need to do. I wanna get a bunch of hooks and stuff like that to hang shovels and all that up in the mezzanine. And then I wanna get the shelf, possibly find a used one on Marketplace if I can to save some money and try and modify that workbench. Okay, peace out you guys. I'll see you in the next video where hopefully we get to build an exhaust for the Honda. Deuces.